hello and welcome to magic autocad today we are going to study how to draw and dimension our drawing in meters and before we continue please i would like you to know that if you wish to dimension your drawing be it in meters millimeters centimeters decameter feet uh, inches or whatsoever imperial unit you want to use you have to initially set the units before you start up your drawing so that you will not have complications so in this case let's start with the un for unit enter then you go to this drawing unit will pop up and then you go to learn type let's select decimal since we are using meters then secondly we go to precision let's take a precision of 0 0.00 two decimal places since we are using meters i will explain that to you later then thirdly let's go to the inserted content scale which is gonna be in meters you drop down and you select meters you click on okay then the second thing we we'll like to do here is you go to the layer properties you drop down then you select a new layer let's type in dim for dimensions okay then we choose a color for the dimensions let's take yellow to be visible enough okay then we we'll go back to layers then let's type in structure okay structure here let's select the color green okay then you come to this end you close up then what's the next thing you go back to layers then you drop down let's select structure to do the structure okay we we'll go to drawing let's select rectangle we specify the first point let's type in 30 for the land you press on tab to enter the to type in the width of 15 enter there we have our structure then the second thing we like to do here is to dimension so we go to layers drop down the layers let's take the dimension you click on dimensions then what are you going to do are you just going to go to dimension directly when you come here to dimensions okay let's go to dimension and let's take linear dimensions okay because it's horizontal and vertical so let's take linear then here this end and this end so you will see that these dimensions are not visible okay they are not visible it's not visible so what do we do next either you type in dim style short form of dimension style dim style enter and this dimensions time manager will pop up or you can go here to annotation to drop down then come to the second standard and then you click on description then you have your dimension style manager the same okay the next thing you would like to do is you go to modify left click on modify then this modify dimension style will pop up then the first thing you want to do here is we'll go to unit format let's go to primary unit here primary unit you click on primary unit then you go now to unit format the format here it's going to be in decimal okay since we are using meters then second 
we go to precision let's run it up to two decimal places okay 0, 0.00 let's take it there then you see automatically see the changes here then thirdly <coughs> let's go now to text we go now to text click on text this will open up then the first thing we want to do here is to adjust the text height that is our main concern here here now it's 0 0.18 but what do we do let's type in 0 0.4 so that it's going to be visible then you come down here and you click on ok then you close it up here now you can see that our dimension is visible ok it's visible maybe let's go back and type in a larger scale ok let's go back and type in a larger scale to see what we got then let's go back here let's type in 0 0.6 okay then okay now you close here okay so you see that it's more larger okay it's more larger than before then next let's go in you will see here that you will see here that this dimension okay let's dimension this other side go to dimension dimension this other side then we have 15 then here you will see that the unit the imperial unit is not found on our dimension only you alone only the draw only the artist will know that this is 15 meters and this is 30 meters but when you send this drawing to somebody somewhere the person will not know if this is in meters or in inches or in feet or in centimeters millimeters or whatsoever so how do we do to identify that okay we we'll go back annotation standard modify this time around let's go to primary units then here you see suffix suffix you come into this box suffix means the means after not so after suffix means after because here is suffix and prefix prefix here means before and suffix means after so you cannot put your unit before the dimension no you have to put your unit after your figure so we go into this box in suffix let's type in m for meters okay then okay then you close here then automatically m will appear here okay so this is gonna be in meters so somebody can identify this unit now okay somebody can identify the drawing that is in meters so guys that is how we saw it for today please don't forget to subscribe okay just tap the subscribe button and the thumb up okay for like and the if you have any question don't hesitate to type in in comment so see you in our next tutorial thank you